How are you doing, guys? You all right? Oh, this is sick. This is sick. I love this, man. I'm just a boy. I'm just a boy. Give me a cheer if you're a boy. Yeah. It's great, isn't it? It's great. We just get away with everything. Boys get away with everything, isn't it? Like if a man is bad, he's a bad man. If a boy is bad, he's a bad boy. Come on, come on. He's the boy next door. It's like, hey, go talk to the boy next door. Oh, yeah, he's sexy. Yeah, he's cheeky. Yeah, he's conveniently located. The man next door, will you stop talking to that man next door? He's scary, yeah, he's creepy. He's inconveniently located. Man boobs, oh, annoying. Man boobs, boy boobs, not even a thing, come on. Boy boobs. Landlord, oh Christ. Landlord, I mean, landlord, I just, God, landlord, fuck, the landlord's coming, ah. Oh. Landlord. Rent boy? Okay, come on. Not hurting anyone, you know, you know, and you know, much more likely to, uh, to take a look at that pipe. So, that was, that was too far, wasn't it? That was a bit weird. <laughs> I, think, I think certain boys get away with too much. You know, we've, we, we've, got, we've got a word for this, haven't we? Fuck boys, yeah? Fuck boys. The kind of guys who like to play games, yeah? Like, never have I ever. Oh, never have I ever. Jeez, that game. In a big group, that game is just right. Who's had the least sex? <laughs> I've got a fuck boyfriend. Uh, his name's Jake, obviously. Uh, he tried to get me to play a game, right, called One Truth, One Lie. Do you know this game, right? One Truth, One Lie. Right, the way it works, yeah, you go around in a circle. Yeah, you say one truth and one lie, and then everyone else has to guess which is which, okay? Terrifying, right? Got to me, I panicked, I'm not a very good liar, I don't have a very good poker face. Got to me, I was like, ah, uh, ah, uh, um, ah, uh, um, oh, oh, one truth, one lie, oh shit, ah, one. Uh, uh, one truth, one lie, uh, one lie, one truth, okay, okay. Um, I, uh, I, I, I have a micro penis. <laughs> and uh, I'm black. <laughs> Do you want to guess? <laughs> yeah, no, neither did they. Neither did. One girl was polite, you know, she was like, oh, is that, is that on your mom's side or your dad's side? <laughs> I'm white. I'm white. I'm very white. Right? I didn't realize how white I was until I met my girlfriend, yeah? Okay. And all these things I do, like, she's not white, right? And all these things I do that I thought were just normal things to do are apparently really white things to do. Like the other day, right, I planned this whole day out, yeah? I planned this whole day out. Wrote down a list, all these things we're going to do, all these places we're going to go. Put them in one big document, printed out that document and stapled it together. <laughs> when she saw it, she said, that is the whitest thing I've ever seen. What is that? Your white agenda? I said, come on. White agenda. What is white? What is white about 11 o'clock, mini golf? <laughs> Two o'clock, transport museum. <laughs> Four o'clock. Open up a coffee shop in a poor area. What is white about that? It's not a white agenda. Come on. It's a white itinerary. It's a white itinerary. I'm a stereotype, though. I feel like I'm a stereotype. Like, people meet me, they don't have to ask me, like, oh, are you at uni? They just go, oh, it, 
how's drama at Bristol going? <laughs> I'm not even a drama student. I, I, I applied for Oxford. I applied for Oxford. I applied. Ah, in the house. Come on. I applied for politics, right? I applied for politics at Oxford. Really competitive course, right? So competitive, yeah? You guys will know this. So competitive. The same year that I applied for politics at Oxford, Malala applied for the same course, yeah? Malala, right, youngest Nobel Prize winner ever, world famous political activist, applied the same uni, the same course as me. Yeah, do you want to guess who got in there? I'll give you a clue, yeah? When I wrote my personal statement, I actually put in a quotation from Malala. <laughs> Malala's entire personal statement was a quotation from Malala, which is a bit lazy, but we'll give her a pass. I'm, I'm kind of glad I'm not at uni with Malala. Right? I feel like I just make you feel a little bit bad. Like, I've got a mate who is on the course, maybe you know her. Uh, right, she said, one day, Malala missed a lecture. And everyone was like, oh shit. <laughs> Malala's skipping lectures. <laughs> Malala's fallen off. Turns out, she was having lunch with Barack Obama. <laughs> if I was Malala, I would not need an excuse like that to miss lectures. I'd wake up at uni every morning, like sunlight coming in through my curtains, long, hard day of lectures ahead of me, and I'd think, you know what? I could go to my lectures, but my lecturers don't have a Nobel Prize. So. <laughs> and then I'd look up at the book I wrote, because it's on my shelf. <laughs> and I'd read the title, I Am Malala. <laughs> and I'd think, yeah, bitch. I am Malala. <laughs> and Malala deserves a fucking lion. Right Can't a gal get some Nobel fucking peace over here? <laughs> Thanks, guys. I've been great. You've been lovely. I love this. You guys are great. <laughs>